Welcome to Between the Lines, where we're going to look at the spreads from the divisional playoff weekend and make our picks. Keep in mind, I am 42 and 23 this season in my best bet picks on our Practice Squad podcast. If you don't follow or subscribe already, you should. I'm trying to win you money. We'll look at our first game of the weekend. C.J. Stroud and the Texans go on to play Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. Nine and a half point favorites are the one seed Ravens. This young Texans team with a huge win over Cleveland last week. A lot of things went their way in that game. Joe Flacco and that crazy story finally came to an end. I think the way that the Texans beat the Browns made the Texans look better than they are but I do think C.J. Stroud is good enough to cover the 9.5 against Baltimore. Take the points. Now for the night game. The Niners hosting the Packers, 9.5 point favorites in San Francisco. The Niners are loaded everywhere. They, got a, they have a better coach. They have a better overall roster. Everybody's healthy. The Packers beat down of Dallas last week. I think that showed you that the Packers are better than people thought, 100%. Jordan Love's been one of the best quarterbacks, if not the best, in the NFL for the last eight weeks. But I think it showed more of how bad Dallas is than how good the Packers really are. And because of that, I'm taking the Niners to cover the 9.5 point spread and dominate the Packers. The Detroit Lions, repping Detroit. I know the Pistons suck, but the Detroit Lions, 6.5 point favorites. They host Tampa Bay in Detroit, in Ford Field. Probably going to be the loudest indoor game of all time, if I had to guess. They're close to breaking that record. I'm sure they'll get it done this week. Baker Mayfield playing really, really well last week. I think that Philly made them look way better than they are. The Bucks struggled. They basically crawled into the playoffs. They didn't earn that, okay? They crawled into the playoffs in a shitty division. I think the Lions have been a good football team all year. The one thing that scares me is the Bucks' strength, throwing the ball, is the Lions' weakness, defending the pass. If they can do just enough to limit that, just like they did with Stafford and the Rams. I mean, they they threw for a shit ton of yards. Stafford had a great game, but they held them in the red zone to three points three different times. If they can limit Baker and the Bucks, the Lions cover the spread. I think that they will cover the spread, the six and a half. Go Lions. And the granddaddy of them all, the game we are waiting for to see, a dynasty legacy game. You had Brady, you had Manning. In this era, it's Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes. Who's going to get it done in the primetime game of the week? Kansas City's a three-point underdog in Buffalo. Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills have looked fantastic. They have basically had the playoffs starting eight weeks ago when they had to win out to get in. They did that. The Chiefs basically crawled and survived their way into the playoffs, but don't ever count out Patrick Mahomes. Give me the Chiefs plus three in this game, and I think they win it outright.